is up my beautiful people and welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to be showing you how i'm redoing my room on a budget we're kind of just reorganizing it a little bit overall i just want to add some color add some spunk but keep it still like kind of simple and aesthetic no, I kind of just want it weird and funky because why not? Target just released this cool collection that added like a bunch of different colors and it was just overall pretty cool and I'm kind of excited and we got all the goodies but we haven't really assembled the room. Honestly, we'll show you each piece as we go but this is how we're going to spunk up my room quickly and easily. What is up gang for all my people who are new here-ish like you haven't ever seen me living in Florida kind of thing? I'm gonna show you my room and what it looks like right now. Honestly, roll what my room looked like when I first moved in. She's come a long way. And we kind of just redid it with like the gold and the pink. That being said, I got back from Hawaii and I just didn't like it anymore and neither did my mom. Also, I'm super, super, super weird and I sleep on top of my comforter and set up underneath it so it's it's like pilling and it's time for new bedding. Mom's running the show here. She says the first step we need to take the curtains down. Are we gonna have to take like the plants off and stuff? Yeah, I'm gonna take these down. Plants come down, curtains come down, and we have to get the wall stamped. That's the top priority. Is this the helper? Ooh, are you the helper? Now here is how we make the fun accent wall. So what is this? A sponge? It's a sponge. Where'd you get that sponge? The dollar store. The dollar store. Yes. I used it before to do the gold. But she used the long side, not yes. the skinny side. But this time we're going to use the skinny side for the blue. And the paint. Oh, I just went to Home Depot and got one of their samples. It's like $4. Yeah, and that's going to be enough for all of it? Yep. Cool. $5 total. Um, she just put some paint on the plate and then... And then yeah, dab it. We're just watching her. That's perfect. And then you can go back to what you've already dabbed. Because mm -hmm. you don't want too much paint. And you just kind of eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. Kind of start at one end and go up. All right, guys. Here's the weird wall so far. We gotta finish the top rail, and we're gonna add a little tiny one up there. Little one, yeah. Um, but it's nice and weird and wonky, just like I want it. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. The wall is complete. It took us like, what, 20 minutes max? 20 minutes. Like 20 minutes, in, I think, total? Easy. Five dollar. Five dollar wall. And since we're on the topic of saving money and budgeting, let's go ahead and bring in a really cool side of this where we incorporate a little bit of sustainability. I have teamed up with ThreadUp. They are sponsoring this video. I'm so excited and I'm so excited to be partnering with them. ThreadUp is the world's largest online thrift store or consignment store, whatever you want to call it. They have literally the best brands like Urban Outfitters is on there, Zara, Free People, basically every brand you could imagine. It's women's clothes and it's kids clothes and most of this stuff can be up to 90% off of its retail price. I've always had like a super big shopping problem and I think it's really cool to finally be able to way to do that while still kind of helping the earth and being sustainable and secondhand. ThreadUp has an app so you can literally shop right from your phone and new things are added there every single day. So if you really need some retail therapy and you need to do it consistently for a long amount of time, you're always gonna have new stuff to look at. Now I have a code that I want to share with you guys where you're gonna get a nice little chunk off of your first order. But before I do that, I wanna show you guys some of the stuff I got because you already know I had to do a little bit of shopping myself so I can show you guys how hype ThreadUp is. First thing I want to show you guys that I got from ThreadUp is this free people dress. This dress retails at $129 and I got it for only 44 bucks. I mean that that's a freaking deal. I mean, it's it's free people we're talking about here. And I would probably call this my at-home casual dress because it's a little too short to wear out to dinner because I'm I'm a little bit tall sometimes, especially when it comes to dresses, but I am obsessed with it. Now, dresses are always my go-to thing to buy because they're so easy to style and so much easier than finding like a top and a bottom and my favorite way to style them normally if I want to add anything to it is just throw on a nice little button down so this is probably how I'd wear this dress this dress retails for 25 bucks and I got it for 9.99 on thread up boom can we take a moment for the little fit 
You see how easy that was? I decided to go with this cute little white top just because since the skirt is loose, I feel like I needed a tighter top. Guys, the skirt is free, people. It retails at $98, and I was able to get it on Threadup for $27.99. Also, this J. Crew bag that I would probably wear with this outfit if I wasn't just going to throw on a cheaper-looking tote was retailed at $70. On Threadup, it was only $33.99. Anyways, here's the fit. I have nowhere to go right now, but if I did, I would be wearing this. Very much lunch before the beach kind of vibe. All right, and if you guys can't tell, I'm really loving free people because I also got this skirt, but this skirt retails for $98, and you guessed it, I got it for $35. I would probably style this with any black top, and honestly, I'd throw on a pair of Converse and call it a day. I feel like this is a very good outfit if you're going like shopping, because it's easy to like, try on clothes underneath your skirts if you need to. All right, lastly, I have always loved Calvin Klein sports bras, and I've never really bought one because, for example, this retails for $71. I could not see myself spending $70 on a sports bra, but I got it for $25. And I like this sports bra because it's a little bit longer. I don't know how to explain it. It just feels like it covers more. It's more of like a tank top kind of thing. But I will definitely be wearing this to work out all summer long. Now that you guys have clearly seen why I'm so obsessed with ThreadUp, and I know that you want to go start shopping, you can get 30% off of your first order using the code LEXI. I'll also put the link in the description if you want. But guys, this is no joke. ThreadUp is so much fun to shop on because you get to like filter out your sizes, filter out your brands, figure out even your price range, and there's still so many options to look through. I think that that's one of the best parts about shopping is being able to like scroll and look and add things to your cart and then take them out and then decide on the best. Anyways, I'm obsessing over ThreadUp. I mean this so genuinely. We're getting the clothes we love and we're being sustainable. It's kind of a win-win. Your closet wins and so does the earth. <laughs> Guys, basically this is the cactus we were talking about. Now we have to manage to get it in the car. How many people does it take to, to get a cactus, a cactus in the car? <laughs> <laughs> You're making it look pretty easy. It's stuck. This is in the car, it's just... Right. You guys, it was a mission getting him in the car, but we have properly got the cactus in the car. Well, oh, we tried to go baby. to the plant store and it was closed, so... I also do a cake pop. I have pink or chocolate? Uh, pink please. Anything else? And can I also have a cup of water for my cactus? Cup of water. Anything else? <laughs> That's all. 11.39. Thank you. at this really cool store that sells reptiles and crystals and exotic plants. Exotic plants, crystals, and reptiles. Hmm. Guys, we just got some plants. I'm gonna be such a good plant mom. All right, so I stole the camera. I really have no idea what I'm doing with this thing. But I'm gonna try to like flip this around. We're gonna start planting the plants for the bedroom. So we got this and I am going to put this plant in it. This is a Hoya. I've been like propagating it and growing it for probably like a year now, so. Well, I totally forgot to turn the camera on. So anyways, here's my Hoya. These are really cool plants. Um, you really can't kill them, and they come in like different variations. This one needs to be cleaned off a little bit, um, but this is a great indoor plant. It doesn't require much light. It doesn't require much water. Okay, so I've got to fill these two things, and what I'm gonna use are these little pothos that I have been propagating. They have roots on them. So now I can plant them. 
think it's recording. I don't really know. But this is what we're working with. So I'm going to dig some holes in my dirt here. And I'm gonna take these out. And I'm gonna put them in the dirt. Should be doing this outside because it's messy. <laughs> It looks all right. This plant is called a Chinese money plant or a giving plant, and I'm gonna break. There's like three different, three different groups here, so I'm gonna break that apart and put it into this one. Look how cute! It's a oh, Chinese money plant. The Chinese money plant. Okay, it's cute, right? I love it. Okay, guys. So yesterday we put the bedding on here. Trust me, I know it looks. It'll come together, um, she says. But I did say I wanted it to be weird. I said I wanted it to be weird. Um, so this is the bedding, and then we're trying to figure out if we're gonna get rid of this desk, because I literally don't ever use this desk. We're making decisions, because there's also this cool bench that looks like it would be on Friends. <laughs> these pictures up there right now and they're not really matching the whole weird vibe and if you guys have not seen on Instagram you guys know I take an obnoxious amount of pictures my mom had the genius idea to make them into stickers to put on like a photo wall or in a frame or whatever you want and wherever you want so we're gonna put some of those into these frames because those just don't match. I'm officially gonna start my photo wall I literally went to Walgreens and I got all of the film I have from Hawaii, I mean pretty much all of everything that was taken on my film camera, I got it all printed. So I have 300 pictures on print. And I also have some Lex prints like those, but in a smaller version that I'm going to add into the collage on there. And they're a little bit bigger than the normal 4x6 prints. And I'm very excited. Lissette's here! But yeah, I'm gonna start the photo wall. But here's the empty wall. This here is actually from when Lissette accidentally kicked down the whole closet door. So the whole thing broke and we had to put this like fixer on it and this sticker clearly isn't working. Um, so my mom's gonna paint these just cause since there's not a lifted thing here, it looked super weird having like just that. I'm gonna try to stick them with this. We're gonna see how that goes. So here's where we're at so far. So far, so good. I'm liking it. It's it's definitely messy, but I love it. Guys, this is this is mission. But look how it look, looks. Look at that so far. So cool. Cool. Right? Look at, I love let it. me give him a close up of these two doors. Look. Find yourself, friends. <laughs> if you're watching, find yourself. You're all here somewhere. Boom. Two doors down. Ooh. Here's where we're at. I wasn't going to use the big picture, but I was like, I don't care, I'm using it. It's one of my favorites. It's been a long time. Can't tell in the video, but it's been like probably a week or so now. The room has finally come together. We've done just a bunch of small little things to like really make it feel homey, cozy, and good vibes. And now, here is the final room tour. I'm going to tell you guys kind of like where everything was from, how we did it, um, how we did it on a budget, and welcome to my room. <laughs> Okay, so when you walk in, I have my closet that has like most of my clothes. Anyways, over here, I have my old vision board. I actually want to update this soon. Uh, this is from before I went to Hawaii, which is so weird to look at because I've actually improved upon so much of it, but I'm ready to make it updated. Okay, a lot of jewelry. A lot of this jewelry I don't wear anymore, but I do keep the two hats I own right on this little thingy. Now here comes the good part. Okay, so we walk in. Over here, I always like to change my totes and I like to match it to my outfit, so I keep my whole bag collection over here. This is my favorite part of my room. It's my picture wall. It's actually my closet, my other messy closet. Picture wall, let me know who you guys spot. Comment, comment down below, but I love it. it. Took me a couple hours and it was so worth it. 
And you guys met Pickle. Pickle now hangs out in this part of my room. He's just the best. I have so many plants, guys, and it, it is so fun. But over here, this is Rattle. My mom's friend has this company called Hang Loose, and she makes these plant holders that hang from the ceiling, and they are actually the cutest freaking things in the whole entire world. And this is supposed to be one where when the sunlight hits it, it um, sparkles and it makes little rainbows. So at sunrise time is when I'll have sparkles in my room. Yay, but look how even like even the little details, these all have stars. And it's just so freaking cute. And then let me just show you all my plants for now and then I'll give you like the full look. This is another one from Hang Loose. And I think that this one's my favorite just because I love yellow. And I love, love the way these little silver chains hang down. And this crystal is just so beautiful. I'm obsessed. Um, these two plants, Tom and Jerry. You know, we love a nice Tom and Jerry moment. This is Sam. It's just fitting. It's perfect. And this is from Amazon. I can like link it below if you guys want. But it was super cheap and it made it super convenient because when the hook was just against the wall, Sam was like tilted and he did not look very cute like that. So that made it pretty cheap and easy to, you know, buffer that's the wrong word but create some space over here this is norman he is my first plant he's been in my room for a really long time and he's super duper duper happy he loves it here and this is carl he's my ponytail palm he's precious we love him my bathroom tends to be the least clean part of my room and it's not too bad right now but i do have a couple plants in here and they don't really have names so if you guys want to name them you can but they're just like my bathroom dudes Okay, now as far as getting plants on a budget, they can be kind of expensive to buy. So what my mom does is she'll like take from one plant and she'll propagate. So she'll start growing another plant and then you're just left with a bunch of beautiful plants. And as far as pickle, we got pickle from a friend of ours who is moving. So we got them at a really good price. Now this is my favorite part of my room. By the way, that is Reno. He's my Chinese money plant. I keep my books that I'm reading or want to read here. And then, honestly, I need to like organize them, but I want to put the books I already have read on this table. Look how cute. This bench, my mom has kept it for years. Uh, don't throw things away. She literally finds things on the side of the road. I don't know where this one came from exactly, but she just kept it in the garage. My dad was like, always like, get rid of it, get rid of it. Never got rid of it, and now it matches perfectly. Throw pillows, probably Target. That blanket I've had around for years just because it matched my old room too. My curtains are from Amazon, and they are great. They were super cheap. I literally love them. I'll put them in the description too. Everything that's from Amazon, I'll link for you guys. Painting is from Target. This wall cost a total of five dollars to paint we used a sponge and sample paint from home depot and my bed spread is from target all of these pillows are from target this one i'm not sure but all the other cute ones are throw blanket is target target literally really came through for this one over here Tarche. i painted a couple rocks um i thought they were adorable last but not freaking least i started my own little small business and it is called Lex Prince. I always would get DMs about people are like, oh, I want to wish I could, you could sell your camera roll, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's happening and I did it. We started Lex Prince, which is basically pictures I take from my camera roll that you can buy as a print or as a sticker, put it on a collage wall like this, put it on your water bottle, your laptop, wherever you want. See, stickers for your water bottle. I started this because as a content creator, I'm always looking for new creative ways that I can kind of make an income because I want to keep living my dreams and I want to keep inspiring people to live their dreams and I'm going to do that in whatever way that I can and I love taking pictures. I love sharing my pictures, which is why I'm constantly posting on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, all of the above. I just like to share good moments and good memories to inspire people to do the same thing with theirs. And yeah, so I started Lex Prince and I'm very excited. Part of the reason I came home from Hawaii for a little while just to get that going and start selling it and it's all available on my website. I'll put it in the description, but guys, I'm so excited. Go please buy some Lex Prince, go buy some pictures. But that is my room. She's so homey, so comfortable and I'm obsessed with how it turned out and we did it all like Pretty quickly, within a couple weeks, we just did a lot of reorganizing, using old things we had around the house, adding some greenery, plants really give it life. But thank you guys for watching my video and coming along to redo my room with me. It's been a fun little journey and I'm happy that you guys did it with me. If you guys have any questions, comment them. I'm gonna go through, I'll answer whatever questions you guys have because I know I'm really good at leaving things out. And guys, do not forget, I'm literally wearing a thread of dress right now. You guys can use my code Lexi to get 30% off your first order on ThreadUp. And guys, ThreadUp is going to literally change your life. I've been wearing ThreadUp outfits pretty much 
every day at half the price that I normally would and it's second hand. I mean, come on now. Win-win. Um, I love you guys so much. Do not forget to like, subscribe, follow, not follow, but yes, go follow on all the other platforms. Um, I love you guys though. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions about my room or you want to know anything else, I'm here. I got you. I love you. Have a beautiful day. I hope that your day is bright and beautiful just like you are. And I hope you know how loved and cared for you really are. You deserve the world. I love you. Sorry to be cheesy, but I had to. You're amazing. Bye.